Hey guys, it's me, Thriftastic Mom. Today I thought I would share a thrift haul with you guys. I didn't even realize how long it's been since I had done a thrift haul. I've been putting up grocery hauls and um, like Dollar Tree hauls and different things like that and haven't really been sharing a lot of stuff that I thrifted. So yesterday I went out to a couple places that I don't, I don't hit on a regular basis that are a little bit further out from my home. I wanted to go out there and look around and see what they had, just because I hadn't been to them in a good while. I did get quite a few things I got here beside me on my couch. I'm going to share these with you and uh, show you the goodies that I got. Um, a lot of this will go on eBay, and a few things are from me, so it's kind of a mixture today. First thing that I picked up was this little dog. This is a Victoria's Secret Pink. And I always pick these up. They don't really sell for a lot at all. I mean, I might get $7 for it. But I always like to pick them up just because I know people buy them. They sell pretty good on eBay. And now, I, eventually, I might quit picking them up. But they're so cute and they're easy to photograph. So I go ahead and pick them up. Buy pink. They always have their tags on them like that. I paid a dollar ninety four for this. Most of the times, I find these like at the bins or somewhere, and I give like fifty cents for them. So I did pay up a little bit on this one, a dollar ninety four, just because it was at the thrift store. But um, I'll get probably about seven dollars for that. I don't know the fascination in them, but people seem to like them. <laughs> so I picked that up. This next item is a vintage Sears uh, two note. Contemporary solid oak door chime. And the box has some wear on it, but the actual door chime is new, still in the package inside. I opened it up, everything's still in there, all nice and neat, packaged up. So I'm going to sell it as new, open box probably, but I should be able to get a pretty good bit of money for this because um, it's vintage, it's from Sears. So anyway, I'm going to throw this up on um, eBay. These sell pretty good on eBay. And um, hopefully, you know, makes a good profit off of that. I was happy to get this. I paid about $2 for this actually at the, um, like, his house thrift store. The next thing I picked up, and I just got these because they were cute. I don't pick up a lot of Engaro shoes. That's the name there. But these were so cute and in such good shape, they don't even hardly look like they've, they've been worn. So I went ahead and picked them up. Thought they were really cute. They're in like a hound's tooth print. Really pretty. And they're like a black and... What color is that? Is that brown? Like a shiny, shimmery brown, metallic brown color with black. These were super cute, and they were only $3.99, so I went ahead and got them. I could probably sell them for about $24 on eBay, because they're in really good shape. Maybe a little bit more. Start them at a little bit higher, like maybe $29 or something, and make a little bit of money off of those, but they were so cute. They are actually, I think, a six and a half. Really cute. And I love that Ingera puts the name of their shoes inside of it. That way it's easy to look up. It's easy to find on eBay. I love that. The next thing I picked up is these Remington Blue Curlers. That's what they look like. And I always pick up the Blue Curlers because these actually go for pretty good money. They sell for about $44, $45, somewhere around there. Um, I think I've listed them for $44. But uh, these sell for good money. People love these blue curlers. And uh, they don't even have the clips, and they'll still go for good money. I have gotten where I've kind of quit picking up certain brands of curlers because they just don't really go for a lot. I do like to pick up the vintage curlers. And, of course, I always look them up just to make sure. Or if I know I have all, you know sold them before, then I'll go ahead and get them. But I do pick up these blue ones, and I pick up the... Um, the tight curlers that are blue, um, they sell for good money too. I paid about $3 and something for these, and I'm going to try to get about $44 for those. So I paid about $3 and something for those, and I'm going to put those up on eBay. 
Okay, I did get me a blouse. I just love the colors. I thought this was very pretty. It's a Southern Lady. Isn't that pretty? Perfect for the springtime. It's got like three four sleeves. It's got a little bit of a, a gathering here at the front. I just thought it was pretty. It's a 3X. And I love those peachy, peachy colors. So I picked that up for me. Um, I got this at the Goodwill, so it was probably how much is the women's tops? Four, four seventy-five or somewhere around there. I forget exactly how much the women's tops are. I went in a thrift store. I went in Goodwill, and I went into a Salvation Army. Um, Salvation Army, you know, does charge up a little bit more for their stuff. Their clothes are pretty good prices, so um, <clears throat> I don't go over there as much. But, you know, I got a lot of this from Salvation Army, so it worked out good for me this time. But anyway, I picked up these cute little Santa-themed leggings. And they're new. That's the little print on them say ho 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 and got little hats on them these are by Mayfair and they're just a holiday printed legging so I'm gonna put those up on eBay and I paid I think how much was these two dollar two ninety nine something like that somewhere around there sometimes if I already take the tags off then because uh, I got this stuff drafted already then um I forget what I paid for it. But anyway, it was like $2.99 for those. Okay, the next items here I got two of. These came from Goodwill. I paid like $3.94 a piece for them. I can't decide if I want to sell them both or keep one and sell one. So I'm not sure yet. But these are the Crofton Taco Racks. You can use these on... Um, you could grill with these. You can put them in your oven, whatever. And they're new in the box. I pulled them out and made sure that they were new. I always, I always try to check um, to see if things are new in the box when they look like they are. Um, so I picked up two of these. I got two of them, and they're both in good condition. So I'm probably going to put these up on eBay and sell both of those on eBay, maybe. Maybe keep one. I'm not sure yet. But I got both of those at the Goodwill. This next item is something that I was really excited about. Um, it's the Sony Walkman. I always pick these up if I find them. And they sell for pretty good money on eBay if they're working. Now this one, half of it works, half of it don't. It has a tape player, but the tape player ain't working. But it probably just needs the belt changed inside of it. I could take it apart and you know, change the belt in it if I wanted to, but the radio on this, y'all, sounds so good. I hooked up my headphones to this thing, and because it's Sony, it has got really good sound. Normally, I would put this on eBay, but the tape player isn't working, so I guess I'm just going to keep it for myself and listen to the radio on it, because the radio is awesome. Um, I paid $2.94 for it, so it's still worth that. The radio works good, and I might could probably sell it, really, on eBay as is for somebody else to fix and probably get, like, half the money I would, would get if it was working, but I don't know. I may just keep that and hold on to it because that sound on that thing, I had to turn it down. It was about to blow my ears out. <laughs> it was that good. I'm like, wow, that little thing sounds great. Okay, the next item I got here is an item from E-Tech City. And I know y'all have heard that name because I've done some reviews for them when they send me stuff in the mail. Um, this actually would be a three-pack of these little um, plug-ins. But they only had one with it, but I got it anyway. And I was actually surprised to see E-Tech City in the thrift store, but um, that's where I found it. I think I paid like a dollar, a little bit over a dollar for this. I done took the price off of it. It was in a, wrapped up in a little plastic bag with tape around it. But, um, I'll, really all I need is this one. I'm going to plug this up beside my husband's, his side of the couch over here. Because he has to pull our lamp over to turn it on when he's sitting in his chair. So I thought I would plug the lamp into this. 
and then he all he's got to do is touch the remote and it'll turn his lamp on so I picked that up just for him so he can use that to turn his lamp on over there now this next little pack here I think I got it to Goodwill also it come in a bundle it was wrapped up I've already unwrapped it because I wanted to show you what was in it but it come in a bundle like this and it had tape around it but I like this little spoon because it has measurements on it and I just love that color and it's got you know it's it's been used but it's all good and it had these two little spoons I really don't know what these little spoons are for but those were in it but I really wanted this I just wanted this little red whisk because I've been looking for a, a little red whisk um, I'm probably going to order me one eventually from Pioneer Woman if I can find one a small one like this hopefully she's got one out there like this and I'll hang it off my little sign in there but for now this is by um, Faber what's that say Faberware I gotta put my glasses on Farberware I guess that's how you say that but I'm gonna turn that backwards and hang it on my little um, sign in there so I picked that up and I think I give a dollar is a dollar 94 for all all of that but I really just wanted the whisk and I'll use that little measuring spoon too um these are open now but they wasn't they're new in the box but I took them out and looked at them but it's these uh fit and fresh um healthy eating living one cup smart portion cups and I thought these would be neat just to have for me they have you know measurements on them like one cup half cup to put food in and they got the lids and they got little ice packs to keep your stuff cold so I took it all out it's like a 10 piece set but the lids have little ice packs so you can keep whatever's in the bowls Cold. I thought that was pretty neat so I figured I'd you know get them and use them just you know for me around here around the house to use them if I you know need something if I want to use the one cup measurement parts on them or take them somewhere because um, I don't think I have mentioned in any of my videos but I'm watching my grandson um, uh, like on every Tuesday now for Rose to work and um, I usually take me some kind of food or lunch or something out there to watch him. So these would be good to put in some cool foods. To put in some food and keep my food cool, you know. But I only paid $2.94 for them. And they're brand new. I just took them out of the box. I was looking at them before I got on here to make this video. So I picked those up for me. Um... I also picked this up for me. It's kind of big, so it's a cornucopia. And I paid this come from Goodwill. And um those cups also came from Goodwill. I forgot to tell you that. I paid $2.94 for this. Big old cornucopia. But I love the flowers in it. I thought I don't know if I'm gonna keep the cornucopia and use it. Um, but I thought the flowers were pretty, so maybe I could use those at fall time. Really pretty. Two ninety four for a big old cornucopia. It does have a couple little pumpkins and stuff in it, but this kind of this one's got like uh, some white spots where it's been chipping off. But it's got some berries here. But I just really wanted. Uh, there's a nice little white pumpkin down in the middle here can't hardly really see yet. It's right there. But I thought for $2.94, that's a pretty nice amount of flowers. <laughs> if I wanted to use those for something. So I picked that up at the Goodwill also. This next thing, I picked this up, I think, at the Goodwill. It's called the Glamour Curl Lady Remington. This is like an old, more like an old, older vintage tight curlers and I just recently sold some of these just a couple weeks ago so I went ahead when I got seen these I picked them up 
And what I'll do, this bag actually has some stains on it, so I don't know if I can get that out. So I don't know if I'll sell it with the bag. If, if I can get it clean, I will. But it's full. Let me show you. It's full of curlers and the clips and these different color clips like this. White clips. Then it's got some of the actual curlers. So I'll just, you know, go through this and clean it up. I always soak these really good and make sure there's no hair in them or, um, you know, just clean them up really good. And um, I'll set these out in a lot and sell every bit of this for one price. Okay, guys, this next item I have is a pocketbook. I don't normally pick up these. They're Vera Bradley. But because it had a makeup bag and a wallet with it, I went ahead and got it. Now, they did charge me up a little bit on this because I got this from the Salvation Army. Because Salvation Army does charge up on some of their stuff. So, I paid $8.99 for this Vera Bradley bag. And it's in good condition, so I went ahead and got it. I always look at them because they can get kind of raggedy after being used a while. The inside looks really nice. I don't know if I can, y'all can see that. It's got three pockets, and it came with this like zipper wallet that matches it, and it's in good condition. Came with the zipper wallet. And it came with a little zipper makeup bag. And it's all clean and good condition, so I paid up on that. I went paid $8.99 for it. And I'm going to throw that up on eBay and see what I can get for it. And cute little... I think, I think when you can get like three pieces in one or four pieces in one, then people tend to buy them a little bit better because... You know, Vera Bradley on eBay is kind of saturated, but I'll still pick them up if they're in good shape, especially like the quilted ones and stuff. People really seem to like those. So um, I went ahead and got it because it was in good condition. All right, the last item I have is kind of big, y'all. I'm going to hold it up just for a minute, um, but I'm going to tell you what it is first. But I found this thing new in the box, and it was $9.99. And I, and I looked them up on eBay. They go for pretty good money, so I definitely wanted, so I definitely wanted to buy it. Um, it is a Ion, which is I-O-N, VCR two-piece video conversion system. Now, what that is is like a box where you um, put your old VCR movies in that you might have recorded back in the day. I have some myself of my son, you know, on... Um, when he was small um, but you can convert them into like digital to put them on your computer or to put them on a, a CD or your iPads or whatever you know to get them off of that VCR tape onto something else some other kind of media so that's what this is now let me pick it up I did open it because I wanted I made him open it for me because the Salvation Army don't take refunds so um, I didn't want to, you know, get home, open up the box, and be stuck with a used converter that might not be no good. So, it looked like it had never been opened or anything like that. So, that's why I wanted it. This is the box. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like. So, I'll sell this as new open box because I did open it. And, um, normally I don't go with big things like that on eBay, but when it's something that good that I can make a, you know, good profit off of, I'll either add in the free shipping or I'll lower the price and have it where they can pay the shipping. But either way, it's probably, I'll go like FedEx will be the cheapest way to send something like that that's got more weight to it. So I wanted to get it because it's a good profit on it. So I went ahead and got that for $9.99. And um, I'm not sure what I'm going to list it for yet. So I'm still kind of in the process of uh, figuring out my listing price. But it's um, probably going to be about $140, somewhere around there. But anyway, I went ahead and picked that up. Even though it's something big, but it's all good. 
I could probably even throw it up on Facebook Marketplace if I wanted to and just sell it that way. So, you know, maybe maybe I'll do that. We'll see. Anyway, guys, that is everything that I got while out thrifting yesterday. Um, a little bit for me, a little bit for eBay. Mostly for eBay, but a few things for me. I hope you enjoyed this thrift haul. If you did, y'all give me a big thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. And um, if you are not subscribed, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel and become a new internet neighbor of mine. If you do subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you can be notified when I upload all my new videos. And if you are already subscribed, then I thank you for watching and hanging around and being, um, being my friend here on YouTube. Anyway, I'm going to go. I hope you have a good week, and I'll see you in my next video. God bless. Bye.